In the rugged terrains of Klondike, Yukon, where the promise of gold has drawn many to its depths, Parker Schnabel has emerged as a force to be reckoned with. From his humble beginnings as a teenager working alongside his grandfather, Schnabel could hardly have envisioned that his path would lead him to become a fan-favorite star on the popular reality TV show, Gold Rush. Now, at 29, Schnabel is a mine boss whose name is synonymous with success in the gold mining industry. The journey of Parker Schnabel is one of ambition, drive, and a relentless pursuit of gold, marked by his early association with Tony Beats. Beats, an experienced miner with a reputation for being abrasive, played a crucial mentorship role for Schnabel. New to the gold mining profession, Schnabel was energetic and driven but lacked the necessary experience and, notably, the fitness in people management. His early days were characterized by a steep learning curve, not just in mining but in managing a startup in the challenging environment of Klondike a venture that demanded substantial financial resources. Beats, known for his high expectations and forthrightness, was initially unimpressed with Schnabel's results, fostering a competitive yet formative rivalry. This period, though tough, was instrumental in Schnabel's growth, laying the foundation for his eventual success. Despite their on-screen rivalry, Schnabel and Beats share a surprisingly close relationship off-screen a testament to their mutual respect and shared experiences in the mining industry. In a revealing interview, alongside Gold Rush co-star Rick Ness, Schnabel credited Beats for his career trajectory, humorously suggesting that Beats was to blame for his decision to skip college, an option his mother had hoped for him. Schnabel's lighthearted admission that he uses Beats as a scapegoat to avoid his mother's disappointment sheds light on their personal dynamics and the unconventional choices that have led Schnabel to where he is today. The influence of Schnabel's grandfather cannot be overstated. It was under his tutelage that Schnabel developed a passion for mining, a passion that has driven him to become one of the most successful mine bosses on Gold Rush. His grandfather's influence, combined with the lessons learned from Beats and his own innate drive, have enabled Schnabel to take the family mining dynasty to new heights. Schnabel's story is more than just a tale of gold mining. It's a narrative of dedication, passion, and the power of mentorship. Despite the initial hurdles and the decision to forego a traditional education, Schnabel has demonstrated that with hard work and a clear vision, tremendous success is achievable. His journey underscores the importance of pursuing one's passion, the value of mentorship, and the potential rewards of taking the road less traveled. As Parker Schnabel continues to push the boundaries of gold production, his legacy is a reminder of what can be accomplished when one follows their heart, nurtured by the wisdom of those who have walked the path before. In the end, the real gold may just be the lessons learned and the relationships forged in the pursuit of dreams. As the sun sets over the horizon of Klondike, casting golden hues over the rugged landscape, the stories of Parker Schnabel and Tony Beats stand as towering monuments to the spirit of gold mining. Their saga, filled with grit, determination, and an unyielding pursuit of excellence, has not only captivated audiences around the world, but has also left an indelible mark on the heart of the mining community. Parker Schnabel, with his youthful vigor and innovative mindset, has transformed the challenges of the wilderness into stepping stones for success. His journey, profoundly influenced by the mentorship of Tony Beats, serves as a beacon of inspiration for aspiring miners and entrepreneurs alike. Schnabel's ability to navigate the complexities of mining coupled with his dedication to his crew and the legacy of his grandfather, exemplifies the virtues of hard work and perseverance. Tommy Beats, a legend in his own right, embodies the ruggedness and raw honesty of the mining world. His mentorship of Parker, though marked by tough love and high expectations, has been a catalyst for growth, pushing Schnabel to reach heights previously unimagined. 
Bates' role in Schnabel's story underscores the value of experience and the transformative power of guidance from those who have weathered the storms. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the rugged expanses of the Alaskan wilderness, where the air is crisp and the earth holds untold riches, Parker Schnabel stood at a crossroads, surrounded by towering mountains and icy streams. He grappled with a decision that would shape the course of his life. It was a decision that would ultimately lead him down a path less traveled, a path of uncertainty, risk, and unparalleled reward. Parker had always been drawn to the allure of gold. From a young age, he had listened with rapt attention to tales of the Klondike Gold Rush, imagining himself as one of the intrepid pioneers who had braved the harsh elements in search of fortune. But unlike those who came before him, Parker had a secret weapon at his disposal, a keen intellect and a relentless drive to succeed. It was this drive that had propelled him to the top of the gold mining world at such a young age. While his peers were busy attending college and pursuing more conventional paths, Parker had thrown himself headlong into the world of mining, determined to carve out his own destiny. And with each passing season, he had proven himself to be a force to be reckoned with, a master of the craft, a shrewd businessman, and a true pioneer in every sense of the word. But as Parker stood on the precipice of yet another mining season, he couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at the corners of his mind. Despite his success, despite the vast wealth that lay at his fingertips, there was something missing, a nagging sense of doubt that refused to be silenced. It was then that Parker received an unexpected visitor, a figure from his past, a mentor of sorts who had once played a pivotal role in shaping his future. As they sat around the crackling fire, the flickering flames casting long shadows against the walls of Parker's cabin, the conversation turned to matters of the heart, to the choices that had brought them to this moment in time. And it was here, in the quiet solitude of the Alaskan wilderness, that Parker's mentor revealed a startling truth, a truth that would shake him to his very core. Nestled within the folds of their conversation lay a revelation that would forever alter the course of Parker's life a revelation that would force him to confront the demons of his past and the ghosts that had long haunted him. You know, Parker, his mentor began, his voice low and measured, there was a time when I believed in you more than anyone else. I saw the fire in your eyes, the hunger in your soul, and I knew that you were destined for greatness. But somewhere along the way, you lost sight of what truly mattered. You traded the pursuit of knowledge for the pursuit of gold, and in doing so, you sacrificed a part of yourself that can never be reclaimed. Parker listened in stunned silence as his mentor's words washed over him like a tidal wave, carrying with them a weight that threatened to crush him beneath its relentless force. For in that moment, he realized the truth of what had been said, that in his single-minded quest for success, he had forsaken the very principles that had once defined him. As the fire burned low and the embers glowed with a dying light, Parker felt a sense of clarity wash over him, a clarity born of introspection, of self-discovery, and of the realization that true wealth could never be measured in ounces of gold or dollars in the bank. It was a wealth that lay in the bonds of friendship, in the pursuit of knowledge, and in the courage to chart a course of one's own choosing. And so, as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Parker made a decision, one that would set him on a new path, a path guided not by the promise of riches, but by the values that had been instilled in him from a young age. For he knew now that true success could only be found by staying true to oneself, by following one's passions, and by never losing sight of the dreams that burned brightly within.